Also tonight, a pot dispensary just got the green light to set up shop near a Martinez High School. The proposed location just blocks from Alhambra High. And KPIX 5's Andrea Nakano with the vote that some worry will put students in harm's way. The city council here in Martinez just voted moments ago to approve a conditional permit to a company named Embark. What that means is that that company will be able to set up a pot dispensary within a thousand feet of Alhambra High School. Shame on you. Despite vocal opposition, a new business is coming to town. Martinez used to be the meth capital of Contra Costa to the marijuana capital of Contra Costa. And I'm simply not comfortable with the location. Embark, which is owned by the son of former Congressman George Miller, will now set up a pot shop on the main drag through Martinez. We want to be a, a part of this community, a, a positive impact to this community. Despite the vow from Miller to be a good neighbor, his neighbors are having a hard time understanding why the business has to be less than two blocks away from a high school with 1,200 students. The voters agreed that this was the type of business that we wanted within our city limits. Fine. I don't believe that it belongs within a thousand feet let alone a mile of any one of our element or any one of our educational campuses in the city. And the proposed site also backs up to Martinez Unified's adult school, a property that would now be limited from expanding to a K through 12 education center. The school district doesn't feel that in it is in good conscience putting a preschool or high school parking on a shared property boundary with a cannabis dispensary. Opponents will consider taking legal action to make sure Embark doesn't open its doors so close to their kids. We really don't have the resources to continue legally fighting this for an extended period of time. Barring any lawsuits that may come forward, the dispensary could be open by April of 2020. In Martinez, Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5.